All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to import my TSM profile. First, just to give you a little bit of background information, there was a time I used to share my TSM profile through a simple copy paste method of your save variables. However, this method is not supported by the TSM team. They've gone through the trouble of making it possible to export your operations as well now, meaning you can get my whole TSM profile through my paste bin and this method is supported and the TSM team will help you with any issues you might have using this feature. So my profile will only be available and updated in paste bin from now on. All right, guys, so let's get into showing you guys exactly how to import my TSM profile. So all you need to do is hit slash TSM pulls up your TSM window, go into groups, and you may not have anything in here. You may have some stuff in here, doesn't matter. Go type in, say, leatherworking. We'll, we'll do an example of importing the leatherworking group. Doesn't have to be spelled exactly leatherworking, doesn't matter. So then as soon as you do that, you'll get a group here, and then you go to import, export, and this is exactly where you're gonna paste this string that I'm gonna show you in a sec. I have something I wanna explain to you. Please don't get confused. If any of you guys have nothing at all done with your TSM, just ignore this little part. If any of you have stuff done with your TSM, when you go to import my leatherworking group, if you have leatherworking items in other groups that you've built yourself and you want to keep them in that group and you don't want to pull them out when you put in my leatherworking group, make sure that you have this unchecked so it'll keep everything in here instead of pulling it out. But if you want to have exactly my leather working group as is with everything in it and you don't care if stuff's going to get pulled out of other groups you might have built and you just want to use my leather working group, make sure that you check this box, move already grouped items before you put this string in. So let's go to our paste bin. Now the paste bin will be linked in the description. You can go to our Twitch page and you can get it there. You have a website, lots of different places. Very, very easy to find. So right here is paste bin TSM export. So you just go here and go down and we find our leather working group. So this is our leather working group. I have lots of different groups in here for TSM. So you can go pick and choose whatever ones you want. We're going to do leather working. That's what we decided we're going to do. I'm going to go down to the raw paste data, click in here anywhere at all. doesn't matter. Hit control A once you're in here and clicked in here. It will select everything. Then hit control C to copy everything. Then go back to your game and you just click in this import string box right here, hit control V. It is a very big group. It will take quite a bit of time. So just have some patience. It could take five, 10, 20 seconds before this goes in. So just wait it out. All right, so the string is in there. All I need to do is hit enter. Now, um, there's two different things that could happen when you hit enter. If you've done nothing at all with your TSM and you have no other groups and nothing else going on, you hit enter, you're basically done. But if you have other groups in here with other operations and um, my old TSM profile, you're gonna get a prompt box that comes up. So let's just hit enter so you see the prompt box that comes up. So you see replace, skip, cancel. So you can hit just replace over and over and over and over again. Um, you'll have to do it a couple times. And that's, that's exactly what's going to happen. So ignore everything that's in here. This is all the leatherworking stuff over here. So now we've got our leatherworking group in here. This is exactly what I have in my profile. So current expansion leatherworking items are in here, which includes all of the stage gear, stage one, two, three, four, and five and six. So when you go into say the stage four gear, it should look like this. And you can see right away that my selling operations are not turned on because this is a brand new profile that I just made for the purposes of making this video. So if you want to go turn on those auctioning, those selling price ranges, so you can make sure that the stage gear is, is working properly. All you got to do is go to options, go down to your tooltip options, go down to auctioning and make sure that you have show auctioning values in tooltip if you want to see that. So then when you go look at your stage four gear, now you're seeing the posting range that it wants to post it for and make sure it makes sense. So it looks like it wants to sell my stage four gear somewhere between 8,000 to 11,000 gold, which is reasonable. Stage six, of course, would be more than that. So 22,000 to 32,000. So somewhere around that range is what you're going to get. It kind of depends on the price of, of your primal spirits and herbs. But you know, generally that's kind of, it should look something similar to that. Make sure your stage gear is right. Don't just import and assume that everything is imported properly. Anytime you're dealing with expensive auctions, be careful the first time around to make sure it's right. So stage gear, just be careful. This is the upgrade tokens and all of the crafting operations for all this stuff is all included. 
And then you've got your established market. So all of this stuff would be in here in leatherworking. So now you basically can open up your leatherworking profession. You can hit your crafting queue and it'll identify everything that's profitable for you on your server and you can craft it and go post it and you're done. All right, guys. So just to give you guys a look at my paste bin and what it looks like and what you're meant to do with all this sort of stuff. So it's a little bit messy, but you can kind of tell by the titles what's what and you can pick out the bits and pieces that you want. So. The first thing I want to cover here is the transmog list. This is a huge, huge list. Some of you guys will be able to import it. Most of you guys, it's going to crash your PC. For those people who need it broken up into smaller pieces, this whole group here is broken up into all of these different smaller pieces. You can pick out bits and pieces you want or you can get them all totally up to you. And some people just wanted the stage gear from the various professions without all of the other things in that profession. So I have just the stage gear here for those people who wanted those. And then there's various other things in here as well. If any of you guys are looking for the full complete profession groups like leatherworking, tailoring, blacksmithing, this is where it is right here. Um, so you can just go through the list, anything that catches your attention, try it, see what you like, uh, pop it into your TSM. You know, if it's working good, great, use it. If you're not liking it, just get rid of it. And just keep checking back my paste bin here and there and you'll see updates as I see fit and I will put out updates on my Twitter when I'm updating major things in my paste bin or if you're in the stream I'll be mentioning live and stream whenever I'm making updates to my paste bin. All right so the common issue that I come across with people having problems with installing my profile is they're just missing bits and pieces of things and the most common one is Primal Spirits. Now Primal Spirits it's a soul bound item the TSM can't really come up with a price for it because it's never going to exist on the auction house so it's never going to have a market value so you have to give Primal Spirits a value otherwise it's just going to be dashes and then in your profession, everything, upgrade tokens, all the current expansion, armor and weapons, all of that stuff is going to be dashes. You're not going to have any numbers and it's not very useful. But as soon as you give a value to Primal Spirits, everything in all of your professions for current expansion stuff is now going to be showing you prices, profits, numbers, and all of that good stuff that you need to have. So this is how you put a price in for Primal Spirits. There's different ways to do this, but this is an easy way that works for most people and this is what I use. So just go up to crafting here at the top and you click on crafting and then you're going to get a window show up over here. My computer's being a little bit slow right now, so bear with me. So now you get three different tabs show up here. Crafts, materials, cooldowns. Make sure you click on the materials tab, the one in the middle. Go there, click on that. Then in the search box, you type in Primal Spirits. And then down here, you're going to see Primal Spirits show up. So you're going to click on this Primal Spirit. Now by default, it looks like this. And like I said, dashes, because it's a soul bound item, doesn't have a number, and it's not very useful. So you got to get rid of this. You can put in a hard fix number if you want. If you know that you're buying current expansion herbs up to one gold and that's your max absolute price, you can just easily put in five gold here and you're done and you've got a price for your primal spirits and end the story, you're done. Um, to be a little bit more precise, it makes a little bit more sense for TSM to average the average buy price of all of your current expansion herbs. It's a more realistic number. So I put in this big custom formula here, which I'll have in the description, so you can pop this in. If you haven't bought any current expansion herbs, it'll then just look at the market value of those herbs, which is just fine. So five of any current expansion herbs will give you a primal spirit. So that's how you value it. So this is the long custom price that I use. I'll have it in the description. Now I've got a price here for primal spirits. Now everything for all of my professions is going to have numbers and it's going to know what to do with all of that stuff. So make sure you don't forget that step. All right, guys, so there's another thing that I need to tell you about. It's not going to affect most of you, but it will affect some of you. So I'm just going to briefly mention it. Right here in custom prices, there's no way for me to include those in my imports, exports. So you're going to have to manually put these ones in yourself. It's only going to take you two or three minutes. And then once it's done, you'll never have to deal with it again. So you just go up to TSM features, go to custom price sources. And here I've got a couple of custom price sources. Pretty much everything here is related to inscription. So if you're going to be using inscription to make gold, you're going to need to do this. If you're not going to be using inscription to make gold, and just ignore all of this stuff. It's very simple to do. You just basically do what I just showed you. You make the group, you name the group, and then you copy paste the string in, which I'm going to have all in the description. I'll walk you through step by step of how to put all these in. But most of you guys are not going to have to do that. Just kind of wanted to put it out there for any of you guys wondering why you're getting errors when you're trying to post inscription stuff because you haven't put in these custom prices. That will fix the error.
All right, there's another little issue with TSM that you need to be aware of, but it only applies to people who are going to be using enchanting to make gold because it relates to temporal crystals. So let me just go up here to show you how to fix that problem. So it's exactly the same as the primal spirit thing. You go up to your crafting uh, icon here at the top, click on that, and then you go click on your materials tab in here, and you go to temporal crystals. So oh, right here is temporal crystals. Now by default, it looks like this. And by default, what it's doing, it's gonna basically give you the minimum value of this parameter, which is gonna be crafting cost, which is a huge mistake because you can make temporal crystals once a day with a luminous shard. So if you keep this at default, you're gonna be selling your temporal crystals as if they're exactly the same price as luminous shards. So you're gonna be losing a whole lot of gold this is a daily cooldown it's kind of an issue and you just got to get the crafting out the word crafting you can't use the crafting um, part of that you got to get rid of it so just take it out now it's not going to be valuing temporal crystals based on the daily cooldown it's not going to be valuing them based on the price of luminous shards so now you have an actual real value of your temporal crystals and you won't be losing tons of gold because you're underpricing your temporal crystals because you're using a default setting so any of you using enchanting as a profession to make gold please make sure you remove that crafting or you can just put in you know if you want to value your temporal crystals at 70 gold you can just do that and that's fine too um, but just don't use default for temporal crystals all right guys now you know how to install my profile from pastebin have fun with it try new things make any adjustments you see fit we'll see you next time thanks for watching please subscribe and comment